So how did you hear about CBMC? So that's basically kind of like my family legacy, my grandfather and my father in Indonesia, they were active members of CBMC. And three years over here, I needed to find a community of believers who in the marketplace. So basically, I uh, reached out to Stan, and Stan and I met, and it was, it was great, it was great. So Stan, what made you lead CBMC in, ta in Dallas, Texas? Well, Michael, that's a long story. Uh, years ago, a man discipled me for 13 years, and I practiced all the principles, biblical principles that were taught to me as a com commercial real estate guy in Houston. And so I implemented all those principles in evangelism discipleship. And then uh, decided to go into a full time where I went to St. Louis for 20 years. And God really prospered us up there in the work, which is the ministry. And then uh, my wife asked me if I ever wanted to move to Texas. And I said, no, because I'm stationed here in St. Louis. And she says, you're not afraid to ask God anything, so ask him. So two years in prayer and supplication on May 17th, I memorized the scripture, John 16, 13. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He'll lead you to all truth. And He'll not speak on His own initiative. And whatever He hears, He'll disclose, you, he'll disclose it to you what is to come. So I asked Him in my quiet time. And nothing happened on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning, about 3.30 a.m. He, he said, uh, what did I call you to? I said, make disciples. He said, what's that say? So I quoted the verse. He said, go. I said, you might go down to Dallas, and I don't know anybody there except my, a couple of my kids and a couple other people, and there's no support down there. I don't know anybody. You want to start over at 67 years old. He said, go. I said, yes, sir. Moved down here, and boom, two years later, we're down here. We're having our first CDMC Christmas party. We have 87, 87 people coming in now from all walks of life. Saved, lost, and everything in between, if you understand that verbiage. So, and the last thing I gotta say, Michael, is said, leading CDMC, you gotta understand Matthew 23, 10. He says, there is one leader, and his name is Jesus Christ. So I'm not the leader, I'm a follower of Christ. And I just share the love he's given me with other people. So this is how I'm following him here in Dallas.